Hello everybody, you're watching the Brian Roberts Guitar Academy YouTube channel. For this video I'm going to show you how to play an open A chord. For starters, the A chord is a five string chord. It's going to begin with your open A string. That's going to be your lowest tone. So what that means is that we're not playing the low E string when we play an open A chord. Um, the A chord, it's kind of, it's more of a simple shape. All it is, is you're pressing down on the second frets in between the A string and the E string. Okay, what does that mean? Well, we play the open A string. That has nothing pressed on it. We're going to place either our index or our middle finger. It's up to you for today. I'm going to show you index finger first, and I'll show you the alternative. So <clears throat> we have the open A string. We have second fret of the D string. Our middle finger is going to fall right underneath our index finger playing the second fret of the G string. And our ring finger is going to fall underneath that finger on the second fret of the B string. Those are the only frets that we're pressing. The final uh, tone is the open E string. We strum all five strings omitting the low E string and we have an open A chord. What you may notice is that if you were to just place your fingers naturally, it kind of go off in a diagonal sh uh, a direction. If you've watched previous videos, you understand how important it is to have your fingers as close to the fret as possible. But as you can see in this scenario, it's kind of difficult to do. The trick is you're going to want to try and flare your wrist out, which will allow your fingers to kind of creep in. The only thing to be cautious about when doing this is that you don't want your palm to touch the, the high E string. That's what you don't want. Okay. Now I mentioned there's an alternative way of playing this. And that's playing the same exact thing except without your index finger. You move every finger up and play with your pinky. Sometimes this is more comfortable for people. Okay, so if I were to build it in this way, it would still remain the open A string. Instead of our index, it would be the middle finger on the second fret of the D string. The ring finger would fall underneath that one on the G string, second fret. And then our pinky falls underneath that finger on the next adjacent string being the B string, second fret with your pinky. And again, an open E string. And there you have it, the open A. Now you know how to play the A chord with two different fingerings. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, like. Uh, I try to upload videos like this weekly.